Hello everybody and welcome back to our Tips and Tricks series of Dot2 video clips. This is Michael Quincy Stratman from Tech Support at MA Lighting International and we are in the series about the basic of effects. You said there are not enough effects in the Dot2 and we held against that. Last time in our last clip we talked about preset effects and the difference to effect templates. So the difference between a preset effect and a template. That was clear. Now this calls this template. Template number one. Dimmer effect on my washes calls template number one in this adjustment. And these values are now loaded back into the programmer as we called a normal preset. Number one. Why do I say this? They are numbered. One, two, three, four. Where are five, six, seven? Eight, nine. Are the Germans not able to count or what? They are in position. Six, seven, eight. And you can see number nine, dim tilt fly out. So this is a template that calls dimmer and tilt. So number nine you find also in dimmer templates. They are numbered. What's good in that? You can call them from the command line if you want. So one through six. My selection, my spots, at effect template number one. So they are numbered, the numbers are unique. We want to talk about effect template number one. Soft dimmer. So I've made my selection and now my fixture number one does a soft dimmer. What does it mean? This is a soft change between values. Nothing hectic in there. So let's zoom a little bit out. So my fixture number one on dimmer value does automatically change between two values. Zero, now they are dark, and 100%. These values are always in the programmer. You can see from zero to O. Wonderful. You can change these values from low value, not zero. Low value is zero at the moment. From 250. From 50, now it doesn't get dark, to 100. High value, 100. You can do it by this, or you can set up the high value here, and the low value you get when you press the MA button. So if you do it here or there, it doesn't matter. So now my light changes between 50, the low value, and the high value, 100. That's all. So now the curve looks like this. This gap isn't that long. You see, it stays on 50 only a short time. This you can adjust. And then I, now I go back to my low value 0 to make it a little bit more clear. This with you can adjust. That means how big this is or in what time it does this width. That you can adjust here. And of course the speed. About the face we talk later. But this was basic for effect a little bit more high and low value. What we talk about here for dimmers, you can, of course, try at home with color as well. You see, we want a color effect. Let's do the dimmer effect. We stomp this and we give the dimmer an open. And now you can play around. What you learn here from basics, you can play or you can repeat with the other ones as well. You see, between blue and white, and you can say from low value red or orange, to high value and you can follow that in the picker as well. It calls the values also in the program. So what you learn about dimmer effects, whoops, you can repeat that with other effects as well. So today we talked about the numbering of the templates and what effect template number one did. Hope you like it. Stay tuned guys. We talk about the next one in the next clip. Bye. This was Michael Quincy Stratman. Or dot two tips and tricks.